conversation. R, R, R. So obviously a bunch of you saw it in theaters. I think four of you that are here. Right? No, three of you that are here. Three. And the other the other three saw it on uh, Z5. And so I would very much love to hear first and foremost from the people that saw it in theaters and to know your theater experience uh, and how that was. So please um, take the floor, everyone. So my theater experience was a little bit, uh, our theater experience was, it started off tentative. I feel like people were like kind of getting the lay of the land. They didn't really like fully give in to the experience at first. They were like kind of dipping their toe in the water and then really after the first, I feel like the moment that it really hit was the first uh, horse motorcycle sequence on the bridge with the hand grasp. That was when I really felt people like kicking yeah. the gear. And they were like, the, uh, that was the first cheer moment that happened was when they clasped hands at the end. Everyone was like, ah, yeah, we really all got into it. And the second that that happened, it opened the goddamn floodgates and it just became pure magic from there. And then pure magic. Then they, then they start singing the narrative of like what's going to happen, which is so funny. Like, Amazing. who they will be friends. Who knows if it will end in bloodshed? <laughs> <laughs> will like, this end with a betrayal? And I'm so, like, uh, yes, it, was, it will. I, and I'm waiting it, for it. It's amazing. That's interesting. Yeah, and they keep saying it's an unexpected thing to happen, but it's all expected, but not expected at all. It's amazing. Yeah. I was wondering if people in the theater would cheer when, like, the first action sequence happens of Ram, uh, like, fucking going through, like, literally 10,000 Indian men and just, like, beating the shit out of all of them. Because um, at that point, we didn't really know who the characters were, and I was like, I don't know if we're supposed to be rooting for him here. Yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, think I, for the, I, think, I think for, like, the first quarter of the movie, because I was sat between Daniel and Luke, and then TJ <laughs> was to Daniel's left. Mm -hmm. I think for the first, like, quarter, fifth of the film, it was a lot of, like, Daniel and I just kind of, like, quietly hitting each other. And just being, like, <laughs> it was. I kept, like, <laughs> Doug would lean forward. At a moment, I, would, like, I just like movie, rub I his was, back like, for a like second. This. I just rub his back and be like, "I'm here with you. I'm here with you." That's what it was. Yeah. And then, I, I mean, and then after it felt like collectively there was permission to like make audible eruptions, where like I, Daniel and I must have started at least two or three cheers yeah. and chants ourselves. At one moment, Daniel like erupted from his chair and was just screaming full volume, while not standing not, up. not a moment. <laughs> The moment, yeah. which is the, when all the of the truck barreling in and the ring flipping off and the slow motion shot of all the animals in him. Oh, hell yeah. Everyone yeah. reacted. And I stood up and just started going, oh, <laughs> <laughs> it was incredible. oh just screaming at the top of my He released them all. He released them all. <laughs> it was just and I your didn't, I didn't know that there was going to be an intermission. So, so all of a sudden, when they grab hand, like, and they grab wrists, and then it cuts away to the graphic, like the main graphic for the film, and then it pulls away, and then it stops, and all the lights went on. I was like, <laughs> "Wait, probably were bad." Doug was probably going, "Is that it? Is that I was like, it?" I'm like, "No, this is intermission." And he was like, and "I turned back to the <laughs> and I was like, is "He's that like, it? how long is this movie?" I'm like, "It's three hours." He's like, "What?" And I'm like, I had yeah, no baby, idea what to expect. I, I didn't. I wanted to know nothing. I wanted to go into this like so blank slate. I knew nothing about I, the I movie. Knew, I knew not one thing. Not one. Yeah, thing. the only thing TJ and I knew was the budget. We yeah. looked that up yep. beforehand. That's it. We, and that was all we knew. And like, honestly, I'm so glad I didn't know anything because, like, that was I told I told you guys in the chat. Like, that was truly and honestly one of the most enjoyable movie going experiences I've ever had. Like, yep. I think that that's what like that's the fun and beauty of going to the movies. Like, yeah, it's a completely different style of film, but there's similarities that like, I imagine people who saw Singing in the Rain for the first time, like <laughs> that must, there must have been people responding that way in the theater being like, holy sh, come on. Yeah. Like, you see Fred Astaire doing this thing. And you're just like, what the fuck? This is amazing. 
like it had you have to have like similar eruptions and like everyone is collectively responding and resounding the same way like it was an unbelievable experience i'm so grateful that we got to see it in the theater with so same people. so 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 grateful yeah, yeah. Already it's like yeah go ahead corbin what are you gonna say no no i was gonna ask you and uh, emily what you got what you guys thought and uh, your experience so we were we've already texted like probably four or five friends today telling them to watch the movie and right. like it's funny because so many of them will be like oh that's so cool and we're like no like i can tell from their <laughs> you don't under, you don't understand <laughs> don't understand like you should be responding to me in all caps right now like thanking me for telling you to watch this <laughs> One person responded with like, oh, what genre is it? And we were like, all of them. Oh, it's all yes. of them. Every, yes. every, everyone that I, you name. I that said to Indian Doug, and, for you. I said to Doug, I'm like, RRR is the, the answers the question, uh, <laughs> uh, what genre is your movie? And the answer is yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the answer it, it is yes. It would technically be a masala film uh, is what they would refer to this film as. I refer to it as everything, everywhere, all at once. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I refer to it as. That's we're, it. We're pretending. I know the Daniels. They made a great movie, <laughs> but this this deserves that title. This was literally everything, everywhere, everywhere, all at once. All at once. So what? We're pretending to be such like Indian film buffs now that one of our friends was like, is it Bollywood? And we're like, is it Bollywood? Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. Really? Amateurs, rookies. <laughs> really? I'm so I did proud the same of you. Thing. Everything made when I got home and Sadie was, like, Sadie was like, how was your Bollywood experience? I was like, uh, it's actually a South Indian film. I'm <laughs> like, oh, uh, actually, there's like 150 <laughs> languages in India and so many more cultures than you realize. So like, I reacted that way because I, I saw okay. an article. I'm so proud of all of you. I saw an article <laughs> that did call it Bollywood. I was like, huh. idiot. <laughs> go, on, go on, Will. I will that? also say this is one of the loudest, The it is the loudest film I've ever seen in a theater. The theater. It could have been the, the theater itself. Yeah. But I didn't expect that out of the Lemle. It's not like we were watching it in IMAX. It was no, a, big, yeah. a big auditorium, but holy shit. You said it was blasting, right? It, oh, it, it was like it was the IMAX. That beginning war scene was, uh, uh, not war, but the- When like, the first- him, It was the fucking first when, overwhelming. When, sh when they say, no, you sold your daughter, and that first <laughs> comes up, it's, yeah. it was terrifying. It like we literally- all J jumped as at was so loud did you, did you, and i'm like part of me feels like whoever like were the big fans of the film like went to the operator and went bro bump this shit to fucking turn 20 up, turn okay turn up. this shit up we're here uh, to have an experience okay did, did you notice it took 45 minutes for the title card to come up in the film yeah 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 <laughs> I actually did well, not. I was, like, I was all in. So, I don't. Forty-five that, minutes in, the, the title card came up. Well, oh yeah, because well, technically like you get car. the fire, and then yeah, the yeah, I don't think I don't think the, Emily noticed that. those, and so I was like, yeah, there was just like three different backstories or whatever. Um, yeah. The which story, I thought fire. was so funny. I thought it was maybe lost in translation or something that it was going to be called R R R, which stood for fire. I don't. I don't even remember. It was like rise or revolt. revolt. Rise, oh. roar, revolt. Okay. I really oh. like how gory it were like yeah, bloody that was, it was. That was, I was, really su that was surprising to me, like how much blood there was it the guy it, falling down the mountain at the end when they the first just like breaks yeah, yeah, his neck yeah. on the side of the mountain it's just because like, and like the sounds that they had like the bone cracking sounds like anytime like anyone even like gets pushed against something it's like crunch right oh, yeah everything's a weapon the sound yeah. design of grass the sound design of the dialogue is whatever but the sound design of the violence is really good especially mm. when the whip is like being dragged across his chest. oh man yeah so that that was a moment when i um i think it was right before he starts i haven't gotten it yet no but when his arms are up and he's bleeding like so profusely from his wrists uh, <laughs> just from the ropes which are actually kind of loose around his wrist <laughs> yeah, yeah was one of my favorite parts um just because i love the blood so much the flogging song um uh -huh. 
We did. Yeah, when they said they said a public flogging, both Katrina and Mercedes looked at me like, "Did you hear that?" I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> flogging. "Guys, that that public <laughs> flogging scene was right, right, of course." Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, totally. yeah. Oh, what did, uh, what's, this Just is your first. Uh, this is, this I think your, Danny and I, Danny, I will say, Danny and I came in like maybe like a minute late because we were getting popcorn. And I know at least for me, I felt like such an asshole. That I was like, there's no previews. Like TJ was like, hey, by the way, guys, I don't think there's going to be previews. So like, get your popcorn and like get to your seats. And yeah. we're like, yeah, hey. and I'm like, crap. I'm like ripping open a pack of salt and like putting on my popcorn. And all of a sudden it was so fucking loud. You could hear it from where we were buying popcorn. So Danny and I just kind of like looked at each other and like started make, like moving as quick as we could. And neither of us had the tickets. TJ had the tickets, so we didn't know where the hell we were supposed to be oh, sitting. Oh, snap. So, like, and so it's like, the theater was so dark, and, like, fucking these two white guys are just, like, holding a bunch of snaps. Just like, <laughs> shit. And we're just like, oh, God, where are the other, the other, the other white people in here? And we just had to, like, sneak through and, like, cut Bruce and people. And I was just like, oh, God, this is so embarrassing. I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm, so I'm like, totally ruining this moment. Man. So this this is a lot I'm, of your guys' first uh, Indian film that has songs in it. Um, so what so what, is mine? Yeah, what what did you guys? I know I know one song that you guys uh, obviously absolutely no, love, but talk not about to, it. not to. <laughs> yeah. um, no, honestly, the, the the flogging sequence song is beautiful. It's oh, yeah. stupidly yeah. beautiful yeah. and like emotional. Awesome. The two lead performances, unreal. Yeah, by I'm both of those actors just I, I was so happy i was so happy that um sita was in the last song because i really wanted to see like right really yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. the woman singing and dancing yeah the little girl songs were amazing oh yeah that was very cute <laughs> the molly molly song yeah, yeah. um it's the other thing fun. i want to say like, before i had to have to go is that this movie had some of the i've any action film I see where I see things I've never seen before, even from that very first action sequence of the the the, the undershot of him with all the bodies on top of him and how Ladies he gets out of the bodies, gentlemen. it's unreal. I have to. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> one thing, Bye, one thing that I know we've all talked about <laughs> that, I, that I still can't believe that like is still resonating with me is the sheer amount of extras that were in this film. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's standard for Indian cinema or not. This was the second Indian film I've ever seen in my entire life. And the first one we only saw clips of, yeah. but in school, but I mean, this was like the Godfather opening wedding on steroids. This was like in some of those, in some of those scenes, the one where the two of them are climbing the tower of people. Yeah. There was like 300 people fun, fun all fact. out in this fucking shot. Fun fact, um, mo the shot you're talking about was almost primarily all VFX. Seriously. Inclu including the people. I'll, I'll show you, there's a link, uh, there's a video that is actually the behind the scenes of the, the, the bridge scene, the, yeah. uh, that, and almost all of it is all CGI, including people. But that, that thing you're talking about, the, 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 the staircase of people, as yeah. an actual like a like a um, celebration in, in certain I parts actually, of actually I was thinking about that. Well, the VFX is very very good because specifically that one shot with the bridge where they panned out when he was looking for the other guy. Yeah, and it yeah. panned out all the way out. It looked very very real to me. Yeah, so yeah, but yeah there's a lot. Done. There's a lot of people in this room. <laughs> We what went back to watch certain parts that we liked when we finished the movie, and we noticed more because we like went and rewatched a couple of times. We noticed more uh, CG than we did the first time watching it through, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, which is a good thing. Like other than the animals looking kind of fake, which I really couldn't care less. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the movie's ridiculous. So I'm like, sign me the fuck. As long as they look real <laughs> enough, yeah, yeah right. That's fine. Yeah, I don't want them to look fake when a tiger's getting punched in the face. If, if somebody's an asshole enough to watch this film and then complain about certain like flaws in it, as opposed to how much they just enjoyed the film, dude, you missed the point. Yeah. They're the yeah. wrong kind of person to be. <laughs> said, like, yeah. if you're like actually the tiger in the sequence when he's holding the ropes, you can right. see it. 
Dude, you missed the point. Like, you knew he wasn't really hugging that tiger. Like, this right? movie is spectacle. <laughs> this movie is just like pure, unadulterated, like joy and just like fucking passion. This movie was a truly unbelievable film going yeah. experience. Yeah. I said that yeah. in my letterbox review. I was like, this isn't the type of movie that needs a review. Like, you can just say the no. most liked about it and then don't like say anything else. Yeah. I want to yeah. ask you guys which of the three versions of ram was your favorite there's the just the mustache Mm -hmm. there's the stubble and mustache and the full beard i would like to say that is one of the hottest human beings i've ever seen my life he he is i'm usually you know me when i listed my men who i thought were the hottest in my list in the chat a while ago most of the men i listed were like hyper femme um that's one of the hottest men i've ever seen that this he's very hot i yes. will say i mean I'll, and almost, I, think I'm, almost... I think i'm gonna go with the the mustache even though he's a total dickhead like during the part where he during the flogging song he mm. him in that red fucking suit with that clean. stash clean a look <laughs> it's a look it's i know so everybody's cool. favorite is obviously super saiyan ram at the very end um but um <laughs> my specific favorite is with the mustache and the overalls and that look basically yeah, when him and so, um yeah beam are first becoming friends and they're helping he's helping him out with the girl i'm just like that's a that's a good look so it's, like, it's it's also it's also it's also ram not ram, ram. ram. it's ram. ram gotcha yeah, yeah so, and his name is his name is ram Tron, the actor who plays him actually so oh no works out ram the Tron. first time ram I was Tron. Like, oh my god was when he was and we went back to check if it was real and it was his real body. He was just really oiled up and that's why- Boxing? Didn't... Really oiled up. Movie. Yeah, real oiled um, up. But yeah, when he was boxing, yeah, that was yeah. the moment. Where... When he hit the bag, I literally looked when at Daniel and I was like- the bag. <laughs> I was like, what? What a fucking hunk. <laughs> what do you what do you I was guys like, think? Dude, this of... guy's about to be everywhere. This guy's what about you... to be so everywhere. We were wondering, we, we went back because we were wondering, we were like, man, they really like- displayed their bodies and then like never did again so we thought like that those two scenes were fake which i think beams what his abs were definitely like so there was a there was a double (laughs) and then the moments that it was him they were like 300 style painted on yeah and like i was like but his chest was real yeah but i was like man i've never seen anyone look less like they have a good body (laughs) (laughs) than just when he's like in full clothes Mm. Yeah, what do you guys think of uh, the, uh, the the relationship of the main two, uh, I mean, Beam and Rome? I, I think it, it was, it was very erotic. erotic. It. Very erotic. It one of yeah, the most wholesome. I, it was it was erotic, but it was also like the buddy cop film. There's, there, yeah. there's lots of there, there's lots of buddy comedies, right? Or buddy cop movies, which I'm like, ew, they're cops. I don't I already don't care. <laughs> but, um, but like. There's something about them where I gave so much, like as wild as this movie was, I found myself giving very much a fuck about their friendship. Rooting like, for them, uh, rooting for I them. I care yeah. so much about their friendship. Yeah, yeah. and the, it's like the montage, like again. They have a lot, the movie has a montage. That's that, mon- that montage of their friendship in most other movies would hit is like, this is lazy filmmaking. Why are they telling us everything that's gonna happen? And instead yeah. you're like, no, this is fantastic. And this is the best way to move it on. And I would I would drink this montage as a milkshake every day. Yeah. If I, could. I think for I think for me, it's like you also buy it because you understand at least for me, like you 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 understand like the the deep cultural differences. And so when when they're saying things to each other, like I can die joyfully because i have your friendship is more important than my life right. you're like fuck i believe what, this what guy a lie that. what a like, lie I, I believe these people when they're saying this you know my favorite part of the whole movie still looking back is the moment when they're when they're dancing the the nartu mm-hmm. and he sees that she like the girl that he's trying to impress emily i think her name was okay, she's yeah, like yeah. cheering mm-hmm. for him she and so Rom just like bows out and calls it you know. like that's just like so loving. It's just like yeah, dude, this is amazing. And then, and then carries him out because it's and like, then, yeah. 
Oh yeah, speaking yeah. of carries them, when they did the fucking oh like God, Megatron, the, yeah. the Megazord, <laughs> oh my he God. fucking he lost it. Like, and then he locks his legs yeah. behind his back like that, yeah. and he's like reloading for him. Yeah, like, yeah, come yeah. On. That was the best. When he reloads it, I <laughs> lost my shit. By that point in the theater, that's like further along in the movie. Everyone is signed the fuck yeah. up. Like yeah. everyone is signed up for the movie. So with that part, everyone's just like. Let's go! Like just absolutely shouting is ridiculous. It feels like you're watching a concert and like a a sports like final. Like it just feels like all yeah. of that. I love yeah. that. There's only That's one. I wish I saw it in theaters. They only- did a lot of um, like explaining everything, like down to which the- Corbin's Corbin mentioned to us before. Remember, he, yep. he said that they do that a lot in Indian. Oh, movies. really? Yeah. But honestly, I it was, was like, like down to the light. It was like. In case you missed it, yeah. This is Oft, where- oftentimes uh, India, the Indian cinema, sometimes over explains stuff. Um, just that they, happened in they, Ugly. I remember we I we was- ran into that at the beginning of the channel. Just um, and it's it. I, I don't think it was blatant as bad as I've seen it before in this film. But yeah, yeah, you, they they do t- sometimes just tend to over explain the plot in in well, some big, especially just, big yeah, commercial films. Bother me. It I was able bother to just laugh at because, it. because like like when he went up to Sita and he was like, "Who has smallpox?" and she was like, "No one." No I one. lie. <laughs> I thought that was really really funny. Thank you, so what what what'd you guys think of the white actors? Oh, uh, they were amazing. Okay. They were amazingly <laughs> terrible. But like, yeah. so I was, the guy with the beard looked familiar to yeah, us. Yeah, he I did. Didn't, and I didn't also, him, did they? He, did they do? He, he's been in Hollywood films before. Guys, or is yeah. he just like seriously? Ill? No, they did. He did make up under his actually ill. <laughs> And then I really liked that woman who was like hella plastic surgery to yeah, playing someone in like the 1500s yeah. or whatever. Yeah, she was, uh, she was like, an Indiana Jones. That, that was, that yeah. Was, and, and an old James Bond film. I forgot which one, but one yeah. of the 80s. Yeah, she was, she was uh, in, in some of I'm those sure films. In, I'm sure in 1900 they were doling out faces. <laughs> Um, yeah, that um, that was another favorite moment of mine when there's like blood dripping on him and and you see that it's like her. Oh my god! And she's tied wire. in the barbed wire. That was yeah. so sick. Oh man. Yeah. Um, I think what I was gonna say even before you asked the white actor question about them over explaining stuff is a lot of things in this movie would not work in other movies, but mm-hmm. this movie was. Like I thought I, I've seen like the the two forms of camp and I feel like this exposed me to a third version I've never seen before. That is the best version. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because the over explaining thing of the narrative in the song, I'm like, yeah, at addition. The bad acting of the white actors, I'm like, addition. <laughs> Everything about it is just makes it better. Like if well, the I white actors weren't bad, because- it wouldn't have been as good. I agree. I think it's because it's like so wholly entertaining. It's like nonstop yeah. entertaining that you like have no time to pick it apart because you're like gripping the edge of your seat entertained. Yeah. So like literally like the bad acting, the over explain the over explaining, yeah. like it goes so past you. Like most movies, you know, you're kind of like looking around every once in a while and you're like oh that's not very you know, There's... like you're like you have the time to to kind of pick it apart. But like I that this movie was three hours it went by like in a flash from yeah. from yeah. like every every like great american um action franchise there's always something that is like going to be missing when compared to this movie like there there's not going to be like the same camp and sincerity and something like the marvel films and there's not like what like i love fast is there, is there I, camp in the fast and furious like that yeah 100 percent. Yeah. they're they're very self-aware of yeah. themselves at this yeah point. but at the same time like vin diesel takes himself way 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 too seriously to the point where he like got the rock kicked out of the movies um mm-hmm. and now the rock and jason statham do their own things which like they were two of the better parts of those movies um and so ego gets in the way there and like but if there was a Fast and the Furious movie where, and I do love those, I think they're very, very fun. I do too. Like, um, I really do. If there yeah, was a Fast too. and the Furious movie where they just like broke out into song every now and then, like that would be. Yeah, amazing. it would take it to bring, the next bring it on, you know. 
And also a Fast and the Furious movie where there was so much blood because they have to cater to like the PG-13 audience yeah. Um, yeah. where you can't, you can't do things like they did in this movie. Um, so there will just really always yeah. be something missing. Yeah, Corbin, I wanted to ask because like this was something I kind of noticed um, and tried to pick apart, but I didn't really care after, you know. Um, but this was specifically when the uh, American actors were speaking English and, you know, obviously yeah. they didn't dub over with the native language, but there would be certain times and I think it would be like key plot points where then you would hear like a dub over in the native language saying like the same thing that they're saying. And I never know that was anything specific or... They just no, I think that... I I think that was just they were kind of in this movie explaining just so the audience understands exactly what's happening. I guess. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, yeah. But the 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 audio in in a lot of Indian films, not all, is still s not sync sound, so they don't actually record audio on the day. Uh, mm -hmm. It still frustrates me um, that that they do that sometimes. <laughs> um, but the uh, that's that's so that's why you'll see like some like it'll look like it's dubbed even though it's like in the same exact language or because yeah. it is. Um, but yeah. I, I noticed that sometimes like even, even with Jenny at a few parts where Jenny <laughs> said something and I'm like, her mouth did not just do what Jenny it's also, did. Yeah. It's also so funny cause they're like literally like outside at a party and it sounds like they're just like two people having a conversation. In, in a closet. Room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. There's like literally people all around them that are like talking and having a good time. And it's just like, it just literally only their two voices in a void. Mm. Yeah. I think, I think that's what, um, like, a lot. there's a lot of movies I've had problems with in the past where they want me to sign up for a ride, but they take too long to get mm. to like the tone. And so yeah. then I start getting tone shifts and then I'm confused. Um, that happened in Last Night in Soho where mm. but that, I felt that was more of Edgar Wright was trying to make something that wasn't essentially him. And I'm like, but you're still you. So that doesn't work. Um, but with this film and the help of Corbin saying like, they're gods, like there's yeah. no loss. <laughs> as soon as this motherfucker chops over the fence, you're like, all bets are off. This is a fantasy movie, essentially. Yeah. And nothing matters. So when even two people are talking close to each other and everything else is happening, you're like, oh, well, none of this is real. So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> That's the thing. We were actually just talking, we were just talking about this with Stranger Things, which is like, at this point in Stranger Things, like, the stakes are so low for the main characters that, like, it's kind of boring. Like, but, yeah. Yeah. But it's in a universe where, where like, the stakes, where it's not that. Where that wasn't like set yeah. up originally. Like where suddenly... this movie is just like pure joy. And yeah, there, yeah. it reminds me of, I don't know if you guys know the podcast. Um, what's the, what's Paul Shear's podcast called? Um, oh, I can't believe I, I, How did, this, how get did this get made? And I don't remember what the movie was, but they were interviewing one of the actors from the movie talking about the director and she was like, yeah, I would say this to the director. And, and like, there were certain continuity problems. And it was like, how do we end up here? Blah, blah, blah. And she said that the director's line back to her was, oh, yeah, well, that's because it's a fucking movie. And that <laughs> reminded me of this movie a lot. Like, it's, it's a movie. Like, quit complaining about it. It's, it's just, just it's just for joy and entertainment. And it's I it's absolutely use, wonderful use for most movies, but for this, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What would you? That's what like would you right now. You guys are talking about that, like you that the the audio sounded like it was just two people. In call. I'm like, I didn't pick up on any of this shit. I bet if I watched <laughs> yeah. it again, I'd pick up on all this. But like first viewing, I'm just still just like, okay, I was literally so, watching the. There's something I need to bring up to you guys because only I guess Doug kind of knows that my viewing experience for this was. A little different from everyone else's because what happened is yeah. <laughs> the rows were a little too high up for Mercedes um, because she forgot her glasses, so she could not read any of the fucking subtitles. Oh, so no. her and Katrina, right at the beginning of the movie, had to go down to like the fourth row up. Oh wow! Um, and so she, I was like, I'll join you guys down there in a bit. And the time, the point I decided to join her 
was right after they became friends after the hand thing and they're doing the whole friend montage. And so I go down there and I don't know if these two are enjoying it or not. And I go up and then Mercedes and Katrina just seeing their faces are like, this is one of the best things I've ever <laughs> And then I got to watch that part with them all the way up until then intermission. And then I told Mercedes, I'm like, hey, after this whole flogging scene, I'm gonna go back up and join like my brother Doug and Emmett. But it was so interesting going from like seeing it and then I was up really fucking close. Mm -hmm. But it was actually a pleasant experience because it was even more overwhelming, like seeing the dance scene from up there and everything. Um, but yeah, once that dance scene happened, I was elated. I was like, it, I was like, man, if, if there's a music scene in this movie, um, this is gonna put it over the top for me. And then when that happened, I was just like, oh, not just <laughs> like such an incredible, yeah, really, the yeah. best dance scene I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, I we That's watched Rom it so many times. So I know Will said this, but like Rom is so charismatic. Like I would buy anything that he was trying to sell me. Like he just, I mean, he just like stole the show from everybody. Like when he was dancing, and, and so there's a part of this movie too that that we can't really speak on because we can't relate to it. But I think we can speak on our experience, like in in contrast, which is that this movie is about, in a sense, like um, India's independence. And at the end of it, when they were showing like all the silhouette <clears throat> people that I can only assume are like important figures, like, you know, country. Yep. I was yes. like, I'm like, what, how cool would that be to be able to like be proud of your country's history? And I know that- I was like, proud and I was not even- not even America, <laughs> America's done- like, I was like, yeah. <laughs> America's done a lot of great things. And I'm not saying that like, it's a shit country, like every aspect of it, but there's so much like stink when it comes to American patriotism that it's really just like, I think the idea of making a movie about your country's independence um, and about like the these like you know heroic leaders and being able to be like fuck yeah is like really cool because if I was to watch a movie and about, not just make a movie about yeah. Thomas Jefferson and you're like we'll leave out even that Hamilton stuff. like I watch right. Hamilton and I'm like these guys fucking like these guys own slate yeah um, but but um, it, it, it's true. <laughs> But yeah, I thought that was a really interesting. Yeah, that's a that's a very common theme in Indian films is is a uh, patriotism and, and love for love for their country. They're very yeah. very proud of their country. That, it just feels it felt so good. No, yeah. that's the only time during the movie that I, I I didn't feel like off. I just was like one of those things where I'm like, well, this is kind of weird because I don't know what I'm watching. So I'm like. Technically, since I have no idea what's going on, this could be propaganda. I have no fucking idea. Right <laughs> now. Like, I have no idea. I and I'm like, I hope it's not because I need to love this movie. Um, no, but, it was it was just way, it kinda, Yeah, I was kind of taking it as like, oh, these were probably people that during the time were like leading the revolts and revolutions against British imperialism, which seems like a good thing. So I'm hoping that's what it is, and that's good. It's not like the Indian Hitler or whatever. <laughs> and they're like, ah. no, no. The the Indian Hitler is uh, Churchill. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's not a that's not a joke. Uh, I didn't the end. like. I didn't know that. I mean, like a third of the way into the movie, you still don't really know. I mean, at least if you knew nothing about it and you didn't see the trailer, you still don't know exactly what it's going to be about. So that scene when they're saving the boy, and I think it was the, the flag of India that he grabs, and then no. it wasn't the flag of India that he hands to him. It was, no, no, no. It, I think it, I think it, it, it was it like a, a revolutionary it, flag. It, it, it was a flag that was uh, it's something like that. It's, it wasn't the Indian flag though. It's yeah. India's oh, okay. colors, I think, but it's not. Yeah, like it was India's colors. That's what made me think it was, but I don't think it was either. But it wasn't. No, because I think it was red in there, and their colors are green, white, and um, and saffron. Yeah, it was green, white, and saffron. Am I forgetting it? Okay, you yeah. might be right. I, I could be wrong. But I thought he, I thought it was just like very poetic that like he was wrapped in that and then came out of the fire and came out from that. But it was right. like, felt like Mother India was protecting you. I don't know. It just felt very like poetic. But um, uh, uh, it, yeah, there was it was green, yellow, and red. So I don't. I think right. it was maybe like a revolutionary flag or something like that. 
Uh, but yeah, I, maybe maybe it was the Indian flag at the time. I have no clue. Um, obviously, others can tell you, <laughs> and they will. <laughs> but oh, yeah, what yeah. was your and and this is it's quite interesting for me. What was your score of this film? Uh, because uh, out of a we, and this is my film club for people who don't know, and we rate films out of a hundred. Um, and so I would, this this is this is such an interesting uh, film that I wanted to know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm talking to the audience now. Just ignore me. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't even know how to rate yeah, it because, like, I want to give it a hundred. That throws off my whole. People are going to see go this. Your, no, this is not for our club. This is just for your heart. Tell me what your score would be. <laughs> Ninety-nine. Like, I would go see this yeah. movie over and over and over again. Like, um, yeah, I this is what movie is supposed to do to you. Yeah. yeah. To me, there's like two kinds of films, right? There's films that you just unplug and enjoy. And there's films that make you think. And this was not the latter for me. This was very much the former. Oh, this yeah. was like Absolutely. pure, unadulterated, unplug and think and enjoy, uh, unplug and enjoy and no thinking. And like, yeah. that's why I didn't pick up on the fact that like the audio was put in post. And that's why I didn't pick up on the fact that it's all VFX people that are like on a tower that they're climbing. Like I didn't pick up on it because I wasn't paying enough attention to that shit because I was so taken aback by the whole goddamn spectacle of the fucking thing. Yeah. Like to me, it's a goddamn home run, grand slam, bottom of the ninth. Like this is out of the park. You just walk off and won the World Series. Like oh. yes, make a goddamn sequel. If there could be a fucking Fast and Furious <laughs> number ten, I want ten. Jeez, right? Yeah. Give me a I sequel really at minimum. Yeah. So and put I, Rom in Hollywood. Yeah. My I gosh. Think, yeah, he speaks really good English. Yeah. Um, he speaks great English. He's charismatic as hell, and the dude is handsome. Oh, he's very handsome. I'm just saying it. I think, that, I think that, and he also, you can tell at the end too, when he has his shirt off, when he's not oiled up, he has like a, a realistic looking body. He's not yeah. like whited out. He has like an actual person's body. <laughs> so I think in rating movies, something that's really important to me is, is the filmmaker's intention. And if I can appreciate and respect their intention, then I can rate it based off of what they were trying to do and mm -hmm. not and not assert my like value judgment of like whether or not I think that it's worthy of anything. Mm. So, so based on intention and what I think this movie was supposed to be, yeah, I think it was basically perfect. Yeah. I would say probably like a 95 or a 96. Yeah. I don't, I've never seen, I've never seen like, I know that this movie like is is very genre bending. Maybe not in India. Maybe in India it has a specific genre, but but for like Western films at least, and well, I mean, I in Japan and Russia, but um, but but like, <laughs> but I guess just anywhere that's not India, um, it's very genre bending. But if we're calling it an action movie, it's probably the best action film I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, yeah. it's so good. Um, yeah, get out for now. Favorite, at least. Um, Emmett, what's up? Wait, Emmett, we're 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 almost. Or should done we kick Emmett out right? really quick? Can I? Yeah, we're almost done, Emmett. Okay. <laughs> almost. <laughs> it's perfect. I'm walking my dog, so that works. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. Um, I put in. Love that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I I would give. I, I was saying like a 93, now I'm leaning towards like 94. That's like 145 uh, for you. <laughs> it, it is though. I, you saw it. I gave this movie an A+. Plus. It's a, it's, it is an A+. Plus. Like I put it, mm. like I would put it one point we haven't rated. below or right in even with like everything everywhere all at once. And yeah. I, like, I would say, I would say that. Yeah. 100%. Kind of pummeled me with everything. It's a feel good movie. It's one of those movies yeah. where if someone didn't like it, I'd be like, "So you don't like you don't like fun?" Okay, yeah, <laughs> don't cool. like fun. Yeah, it is kind of a good litmus test. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, because like yeah. someone's like, I like, oh, and the, and the acting was bad. Like, if somebody told me, yeah, too much, I'd be like, oh, okay. If somebody no, told me I don't get it, man. I would leave them. <laughs> Whatever. Yes, yes, to me, I, I think I wrote it in my letterbox review. Like, I think I said something about like, um, uh, it, it would turn it would turn Tarantino's head from even the prettiest feet, because this seems like a movie that like that like people, people like Tarantino who just love cinema and love the history. You made me disappear. 
there like, are feet is, in this movie. This is like this is like such a such like a cinema lover yeah. film. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. This is if you love going to the movies, you will love this movie. Yeah. yeah. I'm so glad and you guys I'm, got to I'm actually see it. I'm super, yeah. super jealous I didn't see it in theaters. That's some, kind yeah. of why I specifically yeah. asked. I was like, guys, was there an intermission for you guys? Because that, that part when they grab hands or when he's pulling him up, yeah, I was like, that felt very much like an intermission. I no, took no break. No, it no, goes like this and it freezes over. Did it do this for you? It and did. So I'm solidified. And then it's this interval. Yeah, so yeah. I didn't see the interval part, but I saw the arms and it went right back into the next scene. Huh? And I took no breaks. I was like, I know what this is. I'm not taking any breaks. <laughs> I, I went and got an ice cream. I was like, I'm juiced. Let's go, baby. I assumed that maybe the intermission would be right after the the big battle when when he's yeah. like holding him by the prayer string or whatever it's called right because right mm-hmm. after that there's a the huge holy th- holy beads or the yeah, holy there's, thread. there's a right. huge tonal shift where it goes right into rom's um back song so yeah. I, I thought it might be then um but but yeah that's interesting and, and honestly yeah. i kind of like the intermission for that because coming into rom's story all of a sudden was kind of like and i was having to recalibrate i i this is not an over exaggeration after it's it's intermission like act one has happened or part one whatever i thought i wanted a concession i'm like might as well right like re-up on something and i went <laughs> and i couldn't order dj was frazzled i could not think <laughs> My brain was mashed. It's like, what do you want? And I'm like, I don't even know why I'm up here. I have no idea. Your I'm friendship. just on high and I have no idea what's happening at all. I've just watched and she just started laughing at me because I'm like, I don't know. I've just watched the most ridiculous shit I've ever seen. And then yeah. going back into that, it was so interesting watching that part of the story because you're kind of like almost almost like you're in a different movie for a second because yeah. now we're in the past. Um, and once it, the story went on, all of a sudden it got more, it started becoming the most like emotional part of the film, honestly, for me. Um, and also, uh, his dad, Ra- yeah. Rom's mom is very hot. Yeah, yeah she, was, she was really hot. Yeah, <laughs> very hot. Um, just need to, I just need to say that it was the crush I, I never knew I needed. Um, and I know said this already, but they really didn't shy away from child deaths at all. No, oh, yeah, nobody that's what I was, was nobody was saved. Believe yeah. this, Michael yeah. Jordan fucked them kids. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jordan in Indian cinema fucked them kids. <laughs> oh my god, when they like destroyed the child's head with that piece of with that plank of wood, I was like, oh. oh. Oh, also, oh, yeah. When, when, believe... when the mom was still oh, alive at yeah, the end of the yeah, movie, yeah. we were like, a tree exploded on yeah. her. Right. Wait, yeah. I was surprised to see her alive. I was like, you but seem I, I good. I like that in the movie that, like, anytime anyone got hit with something that was wood, it would, like, literally explode into a thousand pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or when I Rob know. got impaled, when he, like, rolled down and there was just, like, a piece yeah. of tree, and I was just like, is he going to die from a tree? Yeah. Yeah. Out of um, all things, like, I love the white guy, the, the fucking, the white, the white guy like leaping out of his car and at the same time oh, yeah. grabbing yeah. his gun and oh yeah he froze in the i wrote that down i was like that's a very like, very con- i was like that's very convenient for the governor i was like that was yeah. actually, I was <laughs> come on the one, the one uh uh cg moment in the f- entire film that i thought was silly was when he shoots that and the car, the car just like woo, woo. like a very silly little flip. barrel roll. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the car literally like he shot the tire and the car went, <laughs> and then they, they were like, Whoa. and it's like and kind you, of like you sped see? up a little bit, like silent movie sped up, like yeah, like, yeah. Like, it was in, and, but by that point, oh, I was so into it. It was all no yeah. rules were established, so like it made funny. me laugh. And who gives a shit? It was entertaining. I before, before we finish, I want to say my very favorite part of the movie, which oh, yeah, me. made me like scream so loud. <laughs> it was like a split second, but I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Um, was when an arrow was shot through the tree, and there's a guy on the other side of the tree, and he jumps yeah. up 
and kicks, kicks it the into arrow his ear. and it goes in. No, no I think he, it's his neck. No, it's his, it's his neck. That was, my, that he was, was my, like, I wasn't done. My, my favorite moment in the entire movie. Yeah, was it was that. absolutely yeah. amazing. I love that. I'm part. glad you. I'm glad you brought that up, Will, because my that was my favorite scene was like pretty much in that same time, um, when Beam punched the guy into the air, and then Rom shot an arrow into that person, then removed <laughs> that same arrow while the guy was still in the air and to use it on two other guys. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I like to imagine the way that the way that CJ is reading this. I like to imagine that the the the, the writer of this movie was like, beam, put this guy into air, <laughs> rum, shoots arrow into him. <laughs> I hope it's like, so because I'm just like that's a, the the choreography a, for how over the top the choreography was was done really really well, really really well, yeah. like down to the extras and just like how they all committed. To it. Yeah. Well, speaking of choreography, you know? another one of my favorite parts of the movie was during the 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 Natu Natu dance scene when Jake is like he comes up to them and they stop for a brief second and they're like and they're like <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Them, my favorite was this I when he yeah. gets the dance yeah. and he gives them the thumbs up <laughs> yeah thanks for joining um yeah that 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 oh white God. me and my brother were talking about it last night that white guy in that scene who's all like upset mm -hmm. at them being near the dance place yeah we actually thought he was good because he under it's like he understood the assignment yeah, like, yeah. i feel like he he was his whole like dance thing tango i'm like this is a this is pretty great this is pretty good <laughs> okay um <laughs> But to me, though, I think they all kind of get it. Like, to me, I, good acting, bad acting is so relative to what the intention is, right? Like, is, Moonst is, is Moonstruck, is that good acting or bad acting? Like, in the world of that movie, it's fucking incredible. Yeah, if you compare it to, you know, Daniel Day-Lewis, it looks, it doesn't hold the candle, but it's not the same thing. It's not serving the same purpose. Like, ultimately, this is a buddy action comedy. Like, yeah. If it's funny, it's serving the purpose. If it's moving the story and like making me entertained, it's serving the purpose. So what a I've fun seen a job to get as like a white actor to be like in a Bollywood movie and just get. It's to not a Bollywood. Um, excuse me, this wow. is actually South Indian wow. cinema. Oh South Indian. Wow. Yeah. Hashtag. <laughs> wow. And with that, Corbin, I think we can. Wait, CJ. CJ, I don't think gave it a, a number. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'd give it a a ninety-five. Nice. Same. Yeah. Um, well, you thought, officially have the highest rated the movie of all time. A Hollywood movie that would suck. A South Indian film would be way better. That's what I. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. Oh, there's because oh, I can't ahead, pick TJ. a favorite part, and I need a, my own little uh, period on this. Uh, my statement here is that the thing I liked, uh, I think overall about this movie besides how exciting and fun and what an experience it was, is that the thing I really appreciated about the Daniels, not just seeing everything everywhere, but it made me go and watch Swiss Army Man. And how much that wa watching that movie made me realize the work they put in for every little detail ahead of time, instead of let's just run a series, guys, let's get our coverage, film everything, and then we'll figure it out. It's Every little thing from like the part where he's in the jail cell and it's like, wait, who told you where I'd be there? And then instead of saying, see that just like all of a sudden the necklace drops like perfectly right there. It's yeah, just every little thing is so extra, but it's written as extra. Like that's what I have to realize about this movie. It wasn't a happenstance. It wasn't an accident. Everything was so calculated. Which yeah. is why when Will says, when this movie set out to do what it did, it's perfect. That's essentially, I think, what it, what happened. So the, I was watching this interview this morning and the, the, they were talking about the, da the, the Naruto dance sequence when they were doing it. And they were like, is it in the, the, in one of the, the people in like the, the media scrum asked and they were, they were asking the actors, they were like, was, this, uh, was it a difficult dance step to learn uh, and not Ram Ak Ak Akhtar. What what was his name in the film? Akhtar. Akhtar he was. Yeah. He responded and he was like, "No, it's a really easy dance, but the director made us do it like 
50 times yeah. because mm -hmm. he was sitting there with his hat off in front of the monitor just looking like this and he was making sure that every single time their foot lifted it lifted to the same height that they hit the ground at the same time like he wanted this shit so perfect Precise. and they both kept telling yeah. him like we have different dance styles. We have different bodies. Like, it's going to be different. He was like, no, you guys have to be in perfect harmony here. Like, this is the moment. Wow. So, like, you can and tell, it, like, it, the, the, the tension to detail and the care he was putting into it. it like, it, I, I actually, there, there was a moment when we were watching that it looked so perfect that I thought that maybe they recorded separately um, and, and synced them up together. But, but that's really same time. And funny enough, I, think I, know I learned they shot about. that sequence in Ukraine. I don't know how much of the film was shot in Ukraine, but that bit at wow. least was shot in Ukraine because they couldn't shoot in India because of COVID. Wow, wow. Um, we were just singing your praises, Corbin, but you didn't hear actually, any of it. Not a, uh, <laughs> sorry. No, I'm kidding. Sorry, I, I was go, talking I about- I, I had to go help my kid. Makes a lot of, what you just said makes a lot of sense based on the videos I've looked up, Doug, because yeah. I've looked up a bunch of videos where I see them like in interviews or guest things and everyone's wanting to do the dance with them yeah and so they're like trying to get them to do it but every time they're like trying to humor them but all they're doing is like a very lazy step and going like this but you could see it in their face like i'm not doing this dance like again fuck <laughs> this <laughs> just, you can see it in their eyes they're like i've done this dance too many times i'll give yeah. you a little head bob and a leg thing and then call it a day and like, then that's, yeah, it. that's it well i'm so glad you guys enjoyed it and thank you for going to the theater for me <laughs> yeah of course thank you